Hi, I'm Julian Frost N3JF. In this video, I'll be demonstrating one of the incredibly useful D-Star features of the ICOM IC7100 radio, the D-Star repeater or DR mode. So let's get started. The IC7100 is ICOM's new HF 2 meter, 70 centimeter, and 6 meter all mode radio. In addition to standard single sideband, CW, AM, FM, and RIDI, the IC7100 also includes a dedicated RIDI decoder and full D Star implementation, complete with an input for connecting an external GPS receiver. One feature of the IC7100 is ICOM's DR mode. DR mode is a super fast way to access D-Star repeaters that are local to you or anywhere in the world by selecting them from a list that was preloaded by ICOM at the factory. This is called repeater routing. You're routing your signal from your local repeater to a remote repeater. The most basic way of using DR mode is to manually set both the local repeater that you will contact directly via RF and the remote repeater you want to come out on. Let's do a demonstration. For this example, I'm going to assume that you live in Laguna Beach, California. Enter DR mode by pressing the DR button in the center of the radio's console. If the from field is not already highlighted, tap it briefly to highlight it. With the from field highlighted, tap the from field briefly and choose repeated list from the options given. You'll want to select a repeater that you know you can reach from your current location. So scroll down the list of areas until you find your geographical location. As you're based in Orange County, California, which is on the west coast of the United States, local repeaters will be listed in the USA West group. Tap the USA West group and scroll down to your local repeater, which in this example is Laguna Beach, K6SOA Bravo. Next, we need to set the remote repeater that we want to communicate with. Tap the To field to highlight it. Tap the To field again and you'll be presented with several choices. If you just wanted to talk on your local repeater, in this case the Laguna Beach repeater, and not have your signal go through the gateway, you could choose Local CQ from this list. Doing this would program your radio with CQ, CQ, CQ in the UR field, and it would set up the repeater 1 and repeater 2 callsign fields for non-gateway communication on your local repeater. You can press the CS button on the screen to check the status of the callsign fields. If you want to be able to communicate through the gateway to a distant repeater, tap the To field and this time choose Gateway CQ. You can now select the remote repeater of your choice from any of the geographical location groups shown. For example, you may decide to communicate through the Laguna Beach repeater as shown in the From field to say a repeater located in the United Kingdom, Warrington, England for example or you may decide to program in a repeater in Los Angeles, such as the KJ6GRS repeater. Again, you can press the CS button to check the call sign fields. Here, you can see that the radio was correctly set up to send your transmission to the local Laguna Beach repeater and then route it through the gateway to the remote repeater KJ6GRS in Los Angeles. When you key the mic and make a call, it's important that you announce that you're listening on a remote repeater and give its call sign, something like this. This is N3JF from Laguna Beach, California through the K6SOA repeater port B. The reason for this is that anyone who wants to reply to you has to program their radio with the call sign of your local repeater in their UR field, just as you did for their repeater. The IC7100 makes doing this easy, again using the DR mode. For example, if you hear someone talking on your local repeater in Laguna Beach and they tell you that they're accessing your local repeater from the KI4 PPF repeater on Port B in Huntsville, Alabama, then you'll need to program your radio to talk back to them. If it's not already highlighted, tap the To field, tap the To field again and choose Gateway CQ from the list. 
Then choose the USA Southeast group. And finally, scroll down to the Huntsville, Alabama repeater, KI4PPF, port B, and tap on it. Leave the to and from fields as they are, and you can now have a two-way communication with the calling station. Again, you can press the CS button to check the call sign fields. Another way of using DR mode, which is especially useful for mobile DSTAR operation through repeaters, is to program your current position into the radio and use the IC7100's DR mode and the near repeaters list. You can program your location manually and also by using an external GPS receiver. For information on using your external GPS receiver, see your GPS user's manual and the 7100's advanced instruction manual, chapter 10. To manually program your location into your radio, go into the radio setup menu by pressing the set button. Tap the GPS menu item and then confirm that the GPS select option is set to manual. On the same page, tap manual position. Press the quick button on the radio's faceplate and tap edit on the screen to begin entering your latitude and longitude coordinates. Tap Latitude and use the on-screen keyboard to enter your latitude, for example 33 degrees, 33 minutes, 43 seconds north. Tap the north-south key to switch between the north and south coordinates. Tap Enter when done. Tap Longitude and use the on-screen keyboard to enter your longitude, for example 117 degrees, 43 minutes, 23 seconds west. Tap the east-west key to switch between east and west coordinates. Tap enter when done. Tap altitude to enter your altitude and tap enter when done. Tap right to store your position and altitude and then yes to confirm the operation. Press the set button to exit the menu. You're now ready to use the near repeater function of the DR mode. Let's imagine that you're driving across country from the west coast to the east coast. You want to be able to stay in contact throughout your journey with a friend who is always listening on the 70 centimeter port B module of the W1HQ repeater in Newington, Connecticut. With the two field highlighted, tap the two field briefly and choose Gateway CQ from the options given. Select the USA Northeast group and scroll down to the W1HQ Newington, Connecticut port B repeater and tap on it to set it as the destination repeater. Now all of your transmissions will be routed to that repeater. The problem is that as you drive across country you will move out of range of one repeater and into the range of another so you'll have to keep switching repeaters. But how will you know which repeater to switch to? Again, the IC7100 makes it easy for you using DR mode and an external GPS receiver. As you start your journey, tap the from field if it isn't already highlighted. Tap the from field again and tap on near repeater. The radio will display a list of repeaters near you with the closest repeater at the top of the list. Select one of the repeaters from the list by tapping on it. Key the mic and call your friend. When you go out of range of that repeater, repeat the process and choose a repeater close to your current location. Remember, each time you change repeaters, you must tell your friend which repeater you're on and the port you're using so that she can reprogram her radio accordingly. You can always press the CS button to double check your radio's current settings. W five I A N. When using DR mode, you can highlight either the to or from field and use both the main tuning dial and the memory channel dial on the lower left of the IC7100's console to scroll through the list of repeaters. The bank dial scrolls through the geographical groups. If a repeater doesn't appear in the list of repeaters that was preloaded by ICOM at the factory, you can directly enter the repeater's call sign and port while in DR mode. 
To do this, highlight the to or from field as necessary. Tap it again and choose the direct input method instead of the gateway CQ method. Use the on-screen keyboard to enter the repeater's information. See the advanced instruction manual, chapter 8. You can also update the preloaded list by adding or changing individual repeaters directly from the front panel of the radio. You can also download custom repeater lists for your area from dstarinfo.com. Click on the Repeater Lists and Download tab, and then select the ICOM Software Import Files, and finally, Localized Memory Downloads. Scroll down the page and enter your city and state in the box provided, and press the Look It Up button. Click the Information is Correct button, and change the radio selection to the IC7100. With VHF and UHF checked, use the drop-down boxes to select your three favorite reflectors. Finally, save the file to your hard drive. You upload the new list to your radio using the ICOM CS7100 cloning and programming software. So there you have it, a quick introduction to ICOM's DR mode on the IC7100. Many of the features of the DR mode are also found on the ID31A and ID51A handhelds, the ID5100A mobile radio, and the IC9100. So feel free to experiment with the DR mode on these radios if you own them. For ICOM America, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF. Music